Um, super excited. Uh, it's a big change for me, I think, in terms of especially location. Um, I mean, as you can hear, I'm very, I'm very Southern. <laughs> so I'm really excited to sort of go, not only go to a new place, but sort of get involved with such a new team, such a new sort of dynamic. Um, I worked obviously with Liana at England. Um, so really excited to be sort of part of her squad um, and really looking forward to the season next year. So I just, uh, Liana, just from from sort of the first time that she coached me, you know, she's she's such a knowledgeable and exciting coach. You know, she's an incredible player herself, which is brilliant. Um, and I think especially the fact that she plays similar positions to what I play, it's that real sort of, you know, one-on-one -on -one feedback, coaching, that's could like directly applicable to me. So really excited just to experience her style of coaching in a bit more detail than obviously I've experienced at England. Um, and really sort of learn from her and have just years and years of experience oh it's yeah no it's uh who knows really I think it's a little bit of an unknown at the moment um I think it's definitely exciting to see how fans react with the you know reduced teams etc hoping obviously games are a lot closer and it's more competitive you know that's the whole point of moving into this new phase um and i think the fan experience will just obviously improve based on sort of the performance of the team so really looking forward to seeing if that actually happens um and you know if it does you know that will be the a great first step in sort of this phased period of making netball completely professional yeah so i i think like most people i i just started playing at school um i think the first time i played netball I was about seven um so i naturally was quite tall when i was younger so it was just a, a natural progression to play and you know because of that height i just naturally um sort of uh, felt felt successful in the game enjoyed playing it um and just yeah played it all the way through school joined a club early on and just really made my way through sort of the england part way from when I was about 13 all the way up really I think my my journey is quite structured and I, I went all the way from the bottom went through all the selections and sort of has have worked my way up in that in that way uh, Rhinos obviously have been around for a few seasons now and I think they've really cemented themselves as a competitive team over the over the last few seasons and I think the next phase is just to really break into that top four and I think I don't think anyone in the team is not thinking about that for next season. I think that top four position and getting to those finals is is sort of the aim of the team. And I think with the team uh, that we've signed this year, I think it's you know it's going to be a really good um, a really good target for us as well.